Hello, today we take a look at the risk of collision with the Emeka 60 skippers. They sail around the world single-handed and can't be on watch all of the time. So the question is, going into a race in the back of their minds, do they have any fears? Yeah. Yeah? Always. Yeah, I think it's one of my craves when I'm in the sea. It's a bit too often, to my taste, but we have... On a une histoire, un passé, un vécu, et il faut apprendre à vivre avec. Quand on a ce genre d'expérience, ça pousse à la vigilance. This is something that you know might happen, but you don't think about it every minute of the race. So making my way into the very front of the boat, where Christopher is waiting for me, and I know that this is all to do with collisions. I feel like I'm going to have one myself. What are we doing here? I can't, you know, this is meant to prevent collisions and I feel like all I'm going to do is hit my head. Yeah. Uh, what's it What's it all about? Yeah, um, next to the door we, you, we have uh, four uh, compartments which are completely dry and uh, if we have a collision with something on the water, uh, we are sure that uh, the water can go on uh, the other part of the boat. So is this what I hear is crash box? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. And I, I hate to bring them up, but <laughs> there have been collisions. Um, have you, can you tell me one that you've had? I feel a big bang. And when I go out, I see uh, the huge uh, cargo ship uh, jets in front of me. So I go back on the boat uh, thinking there's a mass going to fall and uh, it was a, a terrific situation. You're not the only person that's had a collision because I've spoken to many yeah. other skippers that you will know and mm -hmm. they have some great stories as well. A little bit hair raising, but good nonetheless. So we'll hear from them and see what they had to say. It's appeared to me with uh, a fisher boat. It's also appeared to me with uh, whales. Les mammifères, les containers. Enfin euh, ouais, je, je connais bien. Baleine, euh, container. Euh, oh, j'ai tout eu. During the big race, I hit maybe a floating half-submerged container or something like this so that actually completely destroyed my daggerboard and uh, made a hole on the bottom of the boat. Once again, those stories highlighting the dangers of racing out on the sea. But we've been here in the dark for way too long. I suffer from SAD, <laughs> seasonal associated disorder. I can't be in the dark too long. Can we get out there? Okay, Brilliant. let's go. Let's go. I'm now going to meet Bernard Stamm, who's going to show me the instruments they use on the boats to avoid collisions. Bernard, I have a very important question and you are definitely the man to answer it. Um, <laughs> collisions. Collision. Oh, How yes. do you avoid them? Um, we have uh, on the screen, we have uh, a system which shows the other boats. It's the, the name is IS and it, it works with the VHF. And uh, when when a boat is in the in uh, in, um, in the area, it shows the boat on the on the screen. This is the ra the, the the boat of the race. Yeah. But it shows all the boats on the area area. You see here. That's so clever. Here there is a boat coming in the harbor at at thirteen point five knots. The alarm for the for the IS another boat is. Uh, is here. That one sounds. That sounds like battleships. <laughs> <laughs> it's very dangerous when we when we hear this alarm. It's it's it, we have to be very careful. So this Bernard is technology keeping you safe when you're racing, and we're hoping on the Transat that you won't hear that battleships alarm. Yes, uh, but this is only a help. It's not a miracle. A very small boat doesn't have IS. The, 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 the most efficient system to avoid collision is the eye. The eye. You've got me worried now, but you're going to be okay, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Thanks very much. <laughs>